Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your May bonus. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we are going to take a look at the energies around you this time in love, life, and advice. Clarified with tarot. I'll pull two from each deck, and then uh, we'll get into the tarot. So we're going to take it as it comes and take a little look here at what's going on. In this bonus, my intention is to maybe get some message messages for you that may resonate if some of your monthlies didn't resonate for you maybe something here will and if it doesn't resonate totally fine only take the messages that resonate for you may or may not be for everybody so keep that in mind also um this is for sun moon rising venus and jupiter male or female it's a general collective reading not a private reading but if you would like a private reading all that message uh, all that information is in the um, description box below along with tons of other information so please do go check that out if you would like to. And if you're new and you like my style, the way I read, please check out my channel. Like what you see, like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month. Right now you get five. I may be changing it to four. Not sure yet. Um, but either way, you still get at least four readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. So let's see what's going on with Gemini. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. It's a new tarot, new oracle deck for me. This is The Power of Love by James Van Prague. All the decks are listed below also if you're interested in that. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. For the collective, Sun, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Let's see what's going on in love for you. A little look into love, a little look into life, a little look into Guardian Angel deck there. Um, not many people use it. I haven't seen many people use it. It's a cute little deck called the Guardian Angel Oracle. So... All right, let's see. Let's take a look, little look to see into love for you, Gemini, for the channel collective. I think we got one that flew over. And I'm gonna take the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna pull them all first, and then we'll go over them, and then we'll get into the tarot. All righty. Hope everybody's enjoying the beautiful weather. If it's nice where you are, I'm in the northeast of the states. And it's absolutely gorgeous this weekend. Today is the uh, third in which I'm recording this, but uh, in the 70s, six, upper 60s to 70s, sunny, and it's just gorgeous. All right, Gemini. Okay, are you feeling stuck? My cards are sticking. All right, let's see what's going on in life with the Gemini Collective Spirit, please. Thank you so much. General Collective for Gemini, Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. What's going on in life for this May bonus of Gemini's? Oh, that's too many. Way too many. I'm feeling this one right here. Take the bottom of the deck. Let's see what the Guardian Angels have for you for advice and guidance for this May bonus. For Gemini's, General Collective, Summer Rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female. What is the guardian angel advice and guidance at this time for Gemini's? Spirit, please bring forth the messages most needed for Gemini. From the guardian angels, thank you so much. What does Gemini need to know? What is their advice or guidance from the guardian angels at this time? That one. And take the bottom. All right. Let's take a look at love here. We have kindness. You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share that energy with others. Acceptance, you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So you may be releasing control, or you could be releasing somebody or, or control of a situation, just accepting it for what it is, being the energy of kindness. You could be releasing somebody with kindness, accepting somebody with kindness or accepting the situation what it is with kindness and gratitude and uh, being in that energy and just going kind of going with the flow we have green here which is indicative of the heart chakra so we'll see how that plays in so that is the love portion let's see what's going on in life we have seven of autumn have patience and don't worry time take time to rest and plan your next steps a prudent investment of time or money so this is seven of pentacles energy so this is about, you know, analyzing, assessing, evaluating, um, reviewing, kind of just, you know, taking a step back and just patiently waiting, waiting something out. Should I invest? Should I not invest kind of energy? 
And then we have the Queen of Summer. Loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. So it's the Queen of Summer energy, the Queen of Cups. So it could be somebody around you or a king or queen, doesn't matter here. Somebody around you or this is your energy. Um, maybe, you know, you're caring and um, taking care or caring too much for others. It's time now to take a step back and reevaluate yourself, people around you. And uh, maybe self-love. This could be self-love also. And... Uh, Assessing here, what do I need to release? What do I need to keep investing in? What is best for me? And also nurturing yourself. Listening to your intuition also. Maybe, you know, a little emotional right now also. Or this could be somebody around you. So let's see what your advice or guidance is. So we have new beginnings. Green here uh, it represents the heart chakra again. And these... Uh, Cards have borders, which represent certain uh, archangels. I have to look them up. I'm not too sure. But we have friendship here, red. So something with friendship and new beginnings. So you may be making some new friends. Or maybe it's time to make some new friends. <laughs> Could be time to, to evaluate who do you want in your life, who you don't want in your life, who's draining your energy. Um, it's not really serving you anymore. But maybe making new friends here. That's what Spirit wants you to know, or maybe time to make new friends. All right, so let's see. Green uh, represents, I believe, Raphael, which is healing, scientific discovery, intellectual capability. And red represents Archangel Uriel, beauty and enlightenment. So maybe making some new friends in some way, shape, or form. New beginnings and new friendships. All right, so let's clarify this energy. Or it may, you know, maybe time to reevaluate your connections. Maybe, you know, there's some that are just no longer serving you anymore. And you're feeling like, you know, you need some new energy in your life. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Gemini. 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 Or this could be, you know, renewing friendships some way all right let's go on, what's going on for Gemini uh, connective connective oh my god I can't even speak collective <laughs> you could be connecting with some new people all right collective Gemini collective someone rising Venus Jupiter male or female what is this about love kindness and acceptance so what is that about the fool so this is starting over starting fresh starting new resetting at zero going on a new journey the chariot moving forward fearlessly drive balance ambition success victory positive movement forward two majors right out the bat i feel like you're accepting the situation for what it is yet being in an energy of kindness and gratitude and like well you know i'm just going to go on and do me you know and take on new things in life um just you know, live life and move forward, you know, just accepting for whatever your love situation is, just accepting it for what it is, whether you're releasing or just going with the flow or seeing what happens, you could be moving forward, uh, accepting somebody new into your life and just, you know, making this leap of faith and just moving forward and see where it goes. The lovers. Yeah. Wow. That's your energy, Gemini. So yeah, you could be moving forward with the soulmate now, you know, having, energy back in your heart for kindness and acceptance of somebody new in your life two of one so you might have been at a crossroads for a while not sure if you wanted you know love back into your life but now it's like somebody may have sparked your interest here and now you're like ready to take this leap of faith into the unknown to take positive movement forward with someone you feel a strong connection with being uh you know opening your heart to kindness and acceptance of of love and partnerships and see where it goes oh my gosh four wands here this could lead to commitment in the future so you could be actually getting committed moving in getting married uh this is my soulmate twin flame card but it doesn't have to be with the lovers and four of wands some of you could now be moving forward with your soulmate twin flame 
actually moving in, getting married, going on a date, getting committed. Wow. Things getting more stable after, you know, a time or period of just being like at a crossroads, not sure what's happening. Wow. Okay. Let's get one. We got two. So we got the four of pentacles and the six of one. So I feel an energy here of like not, in, not letting each other go and uh, holding on, not letting go and moving forward together, uh, you know, much more peaceful, harmonious, balanced place. This could involve children or this could involve children in the future. Wow. So, and, and it might've been a period here of holding back, you know, from one another for a period of time maybe since the fall and now the spring is starting to reconnect things are coming together uh by winter you could be you know <laughs> married committed well not married but maybe committed um moving in together or something like that wow wow okay finally i feel like finally accepting this connection for what it is and then moving forward together peace harmony balance success victory drive ambition you know taking that leap of faith wow okay so let's see what this seven of autumn and queen of summer is going on in your life and other areas for the gemini collective someone rising venus male or female strength so being strong courageous and brave doing what you need to do having that willpower determination taming the beast from within being strong enough to do what you need to do manifesting a new beginning here for yourself that does have gemini energy in it nine of wands so i feel like there's been people around you that just drain your energy that just drain your energy and you're like you know it could be like just a lot of bickering arguing uh not seeing eye to eye it's a struggle it's a battle it's a fight to keep up these friendships or whatever they are so now you're like you know i'm ready for new in my life i'm ready i'm <laughs> no i don't want this energy of having, you know, feeling beat up and worn out and used. I'm ready now to have the strength and courage to do what I need to do, have new things in my life. Self-love, value. Wow, so we got the Knight of Swords. This is taking uh, quick, swift action. It's air energy, that's your energy. So we have Ten of Cups, happy home and family, um, energy, fulfillment in every single way. You're ready to take action here. Cut out things no longer serving you that are made it, making you feel beat up and used. Having that strength to do so, to move forward, take action. Use that sword to cut out energies no longer serving you here. And go in search of your own fulfillment, happiness, and joy. All right, so... And I'm just being drawn here to the Ten of Cups at the top with like that... Um, it's like a barrier in between the cups where there's five on one side and there's five on the other. So you may feel a little, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You may feel a little like split in your energy, like not sure what to do. What five cups do I keep? What five cups do I let go of? What cups fulfill me? What cups don't? It's like putting up a barrier there and using that sword. Right, so what else here? The Hierophant. So this is about, you know, higher learning, commitment, um, doing what's moral, just, and right, value, integrity. Can talk about institutional things like law, government, uh, education. I think you're doing what's moral, just, or right for you. Staying committed to your journey of cutting out things no longer serving you, having self-love only wanting to invest in things that are of your highest good now. Who do I want to stay committed to? I don't mean as a love partnership, you know, friendship, family, whatever that means for you. Who do I cut out? Who do I keep? Because I see, you know, that barrier between the cups. So there's cups on one side that really, like the cups on this side, it's a struggle, it's a fight, it's a battle. It's like, it's like really not worth it anymore. But then you have these other cups over here where you're in search for something new to re not replace, but kind of, you know, more fulfilling um, options here. So I do think some of you, if you've been considering re-evaluating your friendships, your circle, whatever here, and cutting out 
energy is no longer serving you. It's saying here with the Hierophant, this is spirituality, faith, religion, higher knowing, that it's okay to do that. It's okay, absolutely, to do that. And do what's best for you. And we have five with the Hierophant, which is about major changes and challenges. So it's okay to make these changes. You can do it. You're strong. Manifest new energy into your life that you'll feel worthy of investing in. Not this energy of, you know, just feeling it's a lot of work, a lot of work to keep some friendships or whatever here going. Okay, so let's see what this new beginnings and friendship. And then there we have it right there, you know, filling these other cups with new friendships and new beginnings that are much more fulfilling. And this is green. That's a hot chakra opening up your heart to new energies. And red, I mean, does symbolize love in some way, shape, or form. So what do we have here? The Empress. So again, knowing your value, your worth. That you are an Empress energy. And you deserve people of the same value, worth, and energy as you are. What else, Gemini? Male or female, Emperor or Empress, doesn't matter here. Page of Cups. So this could be, you know, you, you know communication between new people. Um, extending out, you know, invitation to... I don't know, get to know each other or, you know, it can be about love, but I mean, it can be friendship too. Nine of Pentacles, so being single, independent, you know, like-minded people. I mean, you may have people around you only come around when they needed, needed things from you, money or whatever here. And you're like, you know, no more putting up your walls, no more. So this is being single, independent, you know, you may have you know, you may have an, a lot of money. You may, you know, be good. You're standing on your own two feet. Take care of yourself. And you only want to be around the same kind of energy, you know. All right. It's okay to not let people drain your energy anymore. Yeah, King of Cups energy here. So, you know, the King of Cups is someone who has love, emotions, and feelings. They may not always say or express how they feel. So you may, you know, you may be open to meeting new people, new friends, but you may be a little on guard, you know, until you really get to know people. Let's see, what do we have here? So we have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Two of Swords in reverse, which is good. So the Two of Swords is about not being indecisive and about making decisions, and the Seven of Swords is, um, Seven of Swords upright is about, you know, sneaky energy um you know deceiving energy i feel like you've made a conscious decision here not to be around people that are sneaky or um indecisive or you know um condescending or you know just negative energies it's like i don't want any more negative energies around me in any way shape or form so you may you know you know, you may stop meeting up with new people, new friends, but I feel like you'll be a little on guard. You know, that king, king or queen doesn't matter, but the king of cups is just an energy. As someone who is a little bit on guard with their feelings and emotions, so you may be a little on guard with people until you really get to know them. And that page of cups is that communication between people. So until you really get to know people, know their value, their worth, um, their integrity, I think you'll be a little on guard. But you're making a decision here. You know, it's time to meet new people, and I don't want any more of these low vibrational people around me. So I feel like you're opening your heart to that energy here. Okay, Gemini. So I hope that resonated for you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, always, always shine your light.